What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna teach you how to ride a dirt bike. This is my 2012 Honda CRF 250R and more specifically, we wanna teach you how to ride a dirt bike that has a clutch. So I'm gonna go over all the basics, how to operate this bike before we get it out on the trail. And so I wanna start over on the right side here where you'll see we have the foot peg for your right foot as well as the rear brake. To operate the rear brake, you're basically using the ball of your foot in order to push this down. And of course that will engage your brakes for the rear tire. You'll also notice over on the right side and with other dirt bikes as well, we have the kickstart in order to start up the bike. Now some bikes may have an electrical start, so they'll have some components up on the handlebars, but for the most part, most bikes will have this. Also over on the right side, you'll see we have the throttle as well as your front brake. Over on the left side is the clutch. You'll also see the kill switch, which is of course how you'll shut the bike off. And then over on the left side, you can see the left foot peg as well as the shifter. So by using the clutch, you can go between all of the gears. First gear is going to be all the way down. So if I pull the clutch in, we can go all the way down into first gear. Neutral is going to be halfway between first and second. And then depending on your bike, you can go all the way up to fifth or sixth gear. Some bikes may even have fourth gear just depending on the size. So let's go ahead and start this up. Now my bike is fuel injected. Bikes that are not fuel injected will have a choke that you'll have to pull. On my bike, I have something similar to a choke. So I can pull on this button right here. On a cold startup, you'll use that. And then with a few kicks, we can start this up. Uh, just make sure it's not in gear first. If it is in gear, you can pull the clutch, but there you go, what not to do. So now that we have all the basics out of the way, I wanted to go over a few things before we start this bike up and get it moving. So you have two hands and two feet doing four different operations for this bike. So one thing that I would recommend is once you get the bike up and moving, stay in one gear, maybe two gears, so that way you can focus on your throttle, your braking, as well as just riding the bike and getting your balance. You don't need to go through all of the gears at first, just kind of get your basics with the bike. I also wanted to go over the clutch again real quick. So by pulling in the clutch here, we can operate the shifter down below and you'll use the clutch in order to shift between gears. You'll also use the clutch when you come to a stop and then you'll also use the clutch to move the bike from a standstill. So we're gonna be going over that operation. Let's go ahead and start this bike back up. So with one kick there, we can do that. Now I'm going to pull in the clutch and push the shifter down. So this is first gear right now. So I'm gonna show you the operation of this without using the throttle right now. So if you can see on the camera there, I'm gonna slowly start to let the clutch out. And you can see the bike is starting to move right now without using the throttle. So that is a really big plus. You don't have to give the bike a lot of gas. So like that, you don't need to have it that far out in order to start moving the bike. It doesn't weigh that much. Now, if you are going uphill, you may have to give it a little bit more gas, but I'm gonna go ahead and let the clutch out as quickly as I can, because that will show you that you can stall the bike. So you have to be really gentle with letting out the clutch as well as giving the bike some gas. It's a nice balance between letting it out and slowly starting to move much faster. So with the bike started up again, we'll go back into first gear. I'm gonna slowly let the clutch out as you just saw. So the bike will start moving. Now we have to start giving the bike just a little bit of gas. So that way we can take both of our feet off the pegs. I just still don't have the clutch all the way out, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you see, if I do it too quickly, then we're going to stall the bike. And now I am going uphill here. So uphill is a little bit more tricky. I would suggest being on flat ground or going downhill because now if I let the brakes off, you'll see I'll start to roll backwards. So that's just a little bit more tricky, especially when you're starting off. So now I have to modulate the gas and the throttle a little bit more so that way it can fight the resistance of rolling backwards. And you can hear I gave the bike just a little bit more gas. You can hear that input right there. Now I have the clutch completely out. And so now you can see without my foot on the, or my hand on the clutch there, now it's just a matter of modulating that throttle. And this is where being a newbie, I would suggest just stay in that one gear, kind of get your bearings with how much throttle you have to put into the bike. You can monitor your front brake as your, and your rear brake as well. And just work on your balance, kind of going through short turns and things like this. Now, as we come to a stop, you're gonna see, you're gonna hear the bike. You can hear as we slow down, it'll start to sound like it's going to cut off. That's where you need to immediately pull in your clutch lever and you can come to a stop. Now from here, we can start again by letting that clutch slowly out and you can see the clutch is still not all the way out. Now I can let it out and it's not as jerky. It's a very smooth motion. It's just little subtle movements in order to get this bike up and moving. Now to come to a correct stop, which I didn't just show as I tried to let the bike stall there, pull in the clutch 
and then you can focus on your front brake and your rear brake, come to a complete stop. From there, you can lift up the shifter slightly, and I would recommend if you're not used to putting the bike into neutral, let the clutch out slowly just to make sure you are in fact in neutral. If the bike starts to roll, obviously you need to adjust that and find where neutral is. So let's go back into first gear. We're gonna get on the trail now. We're gonna start up here. I would suggest going in a straight line. I am a, an experienced rider, so that's why I did a quick U-turn there. But now, as you get more comfortable, where I'm still in first gear, as you get more comfortable, you can start to go through the gears. And like I said, I'm in first gear right now. In order to go into second, I'm gonna pull the clutch in, pull up on the shifter there, and then it's the same process as starting or from a standstill. You let the clutch back out and you give it some gas. Now, if you're rolling, it's going to be much easier than from a standstill. So the getting moving in the bike is the hardest thing because once you're moving, of course, I can pull in the clutch, shift up into third, let the clutch back out and give it some gas. Now, one thing with a motorcycle is there is no tack. So you can't tell where the RPM is when you're in your gear. So basically learning how to ride a dirt bike means that you have to listen to the sound of the engine to know when it's time to shift. You don't wanna be high up in a higher RPM even though you can't tell what RPM you're in. You just have to listen basically where the engine is and when to shift. So it's something that just takes a little bit of time. And so now as we get into the woods here, I wanna talk about how to use the gas and how to use the clutch because hopefully you've been able to tell I've been pulling in the clutch because we haven't been going at a high rate of speed, which we'll get up to here soon. But as you can tell, we have an obstacle in front of us. Now, if you're just learning to ride a dirt bike, try to stay on some flat ground. But if you come up to some obstacles, of course you're going off road. So there's gonna be trails, different terrain that you have to go through. When you come up to something like this, have the bike already in gear, have the clutch out. So that way you just have to modulate the throttle and you can keep your momentum and get through an obstacle like this. So I'm gonna quickly put the bike into first gear. I'm gonna back up just a little bit so I can have the clutch pedal all the way out. So you'll see the, or the clutch, the lever, and you can hear modulating that throttle. And I have some ruts here where you can, you can hear the engine, I'm giving it some gas, and I'm still in first gear. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch into second. So that means pulling in the clutch, using that shifter down below, letting the clutch out and giving it some gas. So you can hear the engine from the dirt bike there. And at slower speed situations like this, first and second gear is really all you're going to be using. And as you can tell, I'm not giving the bike a lot of gas, but now we're gonna get to some higher speeds here where I'm in second, that's third, and fourth. And from experience, you basically just, just learn what gear you're in. Start riding the bike, you know, you're going into second, third gear. Once you start getting a little bit faster, you can start to upshift a little bit more. And it's, it's mainly just experience from riding the bike. You'll see right now, I'm gonna go all the way down into first gear and you can see I have the clutch all the way in. Right now I'm balancing the clutch and the throttle to keep the bike moving, but I'm not going fast enough where I have to let the clutch all the way out until right now. So it's very simple. It is hard to start to learn, so I'm trying to make this as easy as possible to show you. Once you get the hang of it, of course, you can start doing some more things. But you can see I had to pull the clutch in because I started to hear the bike kind of bog down just a little bit. Now I'm letting the clutch back out, giving it some gas. Basically, anytime you come to a slower speed is when you want to pull the clutch in so that way you don't stall the bike. And you'll see I'm still in first gear right now. Now we're going uphill. So I'm gonna give the bike a little more gas. Keep that momentum going. Now we're gonna go into second. Third. Into fourth gear there. And you can see I'm not really getting high in the RPM range. I'm not giving this bike a lot of gas, but I'm also not going at a high rate of speed either. So I would recommend like the grass field that I was in is a perfect opportunity or a perfect area to practice using the clutch. 
Once you start to get familiar with that, then you can take it to some trails like this, where you see I gotta pull in the clutch because this is a slow turn. Let it back out. Now we're coming back up to those rocks. So I wanna set myself up. Clutch is all the way out. I'm just gonna keep my momentum going. Just like that. So that's one last thing. You don't wanna to have to worry about everything at once. You don't wanna to have to worry about using this clutch and the gas. Just put it in one gear like I mentioned earlier. And you can focus on your braking. Now one thing with braking, you have your front brake of course and you have your rear brake. So real quick, let's just cover that. One thing that you want to know is you're going to be using your front brake a little bit more than your rear brake. I know that's counterintuitive. You also don't want to pull on this front brake so hard that you pop your rear tire off the ground and you end up going up and over the handlebars. So you want to modulate that by using both of the brakes. You do want to use the front brake a little bit more. However, you don't want to use your front brake when you're going around turns. If you have your wheel turn like this, especially on pine straw and the terrain that I'm on right now, that can lock up your wheel and cause you to lean the bike over, you might fall. So you just have to kind of learn and adapt to how much pressure you have to give the bike for your front and rear tire. Now getting onto the road here real quick, I'm in second gear and I'm gonna let you listen to uh, going too high in the RPM range here. So like that right there would be a time to shift up into third gear. And that's just something again, you'll just learn, you'll be able to hear the bike and learn when it's the right time to shift. So there you guys have it, learning how to ride a dirt bike with a clutch. Now, if you're at this level, you've probably already been riding bicycles, you've been riding smaller dirt bikes that just had the shifter with no clutch. So balance and being able to jump up to a full-size bike like this shouldn't be that hard. If this is your first bike ever though, just take it easy. It's not something that you want to rush. You wanna be very gentle with the clutch and the gas as I've already shown in today's video. And once you get the basics down, you can start riding all the time and start getting a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more quicker with the bike and just having a blast riding a dirt bike. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with our daily uploads. We'll see you guys in the next video.